Hey everybody, Steve here in New Orleans, just a few blocks from downtown and right across the street from the cemetery I'm here to visit, the famous St. Louis Cemetery Number no. 1. Just paid over here at the booth the $5 for eight hours. You can see some of the headstones here. Well, not headstones, I guess the tops of the mausoleums there. And this is the visitor center. And I was trying to find a place to park because it's completely gated and it's not a cemetery you can actually go into. And so I came over here to the visitor center just to ask where to park. And the woman said, right here, right behind the visitor center, $5 for eight hours, which is not bad. And we were talking about the cemetery and she said that it's by tour only. I mean, you can't, you have to make an appointment for a tour. You can't just walk over there and visit the cemetery on your own. And I saw someone sitting in front of the cemetery, sitting on the steps, and she said that was the security guard. I guess they have a security guard and they give tours. The tour is $25, which seems like an awful lot. And it's just one city block. It's a really small cemetery, but I've always wanted to go. I've never been here, so I'm going to go pay the 25 assuming I can get in. She said that you can't always get in. She says that uh, it's by appointment only, and she said you can take your chances, so I'm going to go over and take my chance right now and see if I can take the tour. <laughs> so if you're planning to visit the cemetery, just be aware that it's quite a production. Not only just parking, but then making reservations, getting tickets to actually visit the cemetery it isn't always guaranteed. So I'm gonna go in now and hopefully I can get tickets, Basin Street section, visitor information. So hopefully I can get uh, tickets to the uh, cemetery tour. Well, I lucked out and I was able to get on the tour just five minutes before it started. And this is the end of April, but it feels like it's the middle of summer. It's really, really warm, very humid, but definitely worth the visit. It was a 45 minute tour and the White Pyramid, he said, does belong to Nicolas Cage, which I know some of you had mentioned that in past videos, you've left comments, and he said it definitely does belong to him. He completely, apparently there was something else there on that site and he, I guess, Gave a lot of money to the city and a lot of money to the cemetery and was able to build on top of, I guess, whatever was there, was able to build this pyramid on top of that space. And the guide was saying that a lot of the graves, like in other parts of the world, are just, were originally just temporary. You know, a person might be laid to rest there just for, you know, a year or so, and then once the body had decomposed and the grave was no longer needed, then someone else would take their place who had recently died. Now, a lot of what he said, I was busy filming and taking photos, and he was moving on and saying things, so I think I missed some of what he was saying, but it had more history than I was expecting. One of the things that I thought was interesting is that Marie Laveau, who's the main reason most people, I think, come to the cemetery, that she has, uh, he said, four faux, he said four faux Laveaux. So I guess other tour guides in the past to make money when it was really busy, they would just say, you know, these other grave sites were hers. And so there were at least four that were supposed to be Marie Laveau's, but there was really only one that was really hers. And that's the one he showed us at the very beginning of the tour. Vampire and originals. Peter Bond actually sat in her lap playing with Lucy and this guy with diamonds. Dennis Hopper was manic the whole time in the film the movie. We're in 14 coffins. Two years of red tape to get the full thing. We put people around when it's ran out of room. You fly in the city and swamp, 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 swamp houses. You leave a body undisturbed for a year with day. After a year with day, if somebody else's family dies, you just take off the curtain. Just take off the plaque. It got shut down to everybody after these said Homer Plessy, guys, that's my favorite crypt. Plessy versus Anderson. This week, I want to give a shout out and a big thank you to my newest channel supporter, Paige Gerhardt. Thank you, Paige, for your very kind donation using YouTube Super Thanks. It's very appreciated. And thank you, too, to all of you who have taken the time to subscribe to my channel. That means a lot and is very appreciated, too. Have any of you been and taken the tour? Share your experiences down below. I definitely give it a thumbs up. I thought it was great. So until our next trip to the cemetery together, thanks for sharing the memories, everybody.